Uh, what's up? It's WalmsUp.com. So yeah, with that, so I was talking about like, hey, the pixel shaders and the nerve compression. So anyway, try to. I'm trying to tell you something about what they could do with directed energy and holograms. Uh, and I explained the holograms. You're gonna need some type of software that lets to project very complex signals, right? So picture your testicles of a, of a person. So what they want to be able to do is hit each nerve or different parts of the, that that mass like it's a 3D shape inside and outside external with different pinpoint accuracy uh, points. So it's your balls is a 3D structure. You're having your balls compressed with radiation and different things are being done where you fill this array of signals. So they want to, you know, they might do a lot of tickling action or off and on at different points all over, thousands of points at once. And that's where you're going to need some type of massive, uh, huge array that lets you hit so many thousands of points at once with different scalar waves and different signals. Alright. So think about how on your screen with the pixel shader you could turn you you can animate very complex things, right? Making 3D shapes, turning each pixel, shading each pixel separately. Well you're with a with that type of math that you use for pixel shaders, hey you're you're suddenly you're masturbating a person and fucking with their whole body and their balls and stuff just like I'm saying. Different nerves at different times. And they could do complex shapes like a hoof, like a hoof of an animal where, oh, the tip of the hoof's gonna hit first and then they might wanna make, you know, they're messing with holograph stuff that can go through you, it's energy. It's not gonna stop when it gets to you, right? So the different points of the hoof, as it's moving into you, will hit you at different points. So you fill the hoof in different shit. So it's like, just like the document said, it's all holo holography. And holography, it'd be either visible or invisible. It, it doesn't have to, or it could be sound waves or uh, light waves, uh, visible or invisible, you know, radio, millimeter, terahertz waves. And they're just, all they're doing is projecting this out into people's environments that get, put it in their homes, bypass your nerves and go into your brain directly. Uh, the point that what allows the brain stuff to work is because they can communicate with each part of your brain all at once, different and separate. To the down at the neuron level, so it's military grade fun. If you're a target, you'll be sitting there having weird stuff done to you. <clears throat> you. You can't even describe because, hey, how do you describe something that they don't even hardly show you on TV? They don't show you in any books. You've seen the the very most you've seen of anything like this is like in Japan. They have the anime character as a hologram who's singing and dancing and stuff on stage. Or, you know, whatever. They've done they could they've done that with Elvis and Michael Jackson, you know, too. So, but that's the visible spectrum, and I don't know how good their technology is, but you suddenly start focusing signals like that complexity into a person and doing stuff to them. Well, <laughs> or whatever. You could do a lot of stuff with energy, including in their environment. To uh, say, you know, do whatever you might want to do. Knock out their electronics, press a button or a switch. You know, when they're, you know. All right, well, picture a, a, a starlight effect on your genitals. On and off, twinkling each, you know, and tickles and... Just think about what they could do with that, man. I feel like a girl's hand is touching you. And it feels kind of like the stuff... If you ever played uh, air hockey, you know how the air feels when it's being... Uh, you know, it's really soft on the surface of the air hockey table. When you turn the machine on, you're playing, you know, it's really smooth. Well, it's that air, airy feeling that you almost would feel too as inside of you. It's expanding and contracting. With whatever they're doing, it's very soft, buzzy feeling. You feel 
the buzz of what they're doing. And then they're doing nerve stimulation too to make it feel, oh, well, there's warmth and cold. They're trying to make it feel like a person's warmth inside of you. Uh, they're doing stuff to your brain to make you uh, think it's not a hallucination, but they're trying to make you feel like a girl touching you. They're putting her feelings and emotions in you, like trying to make it like a virtual sex simulation. Fucking military and their shit, dude. This is what they do when they want to torture someone. Holograms are advanced, and so they could also just project like a big hologram over your building or something. Uh, that's. Look at the military's document on that. It says uh, non-lethal weapons, terms and references. It says they could do that. It's called hologram profit. Boom. Put a big hologram over your fucking house. Put a b fucking something in the sky. You know. Make you see something that looks like a ghost to kill you. Make you scared. It, it could be in your brain or outside. Because holograms are that complex. And it comes from the satellites and the radar, man. Oh, God damn. God damn, they built this fucking world scale weapon. It's above everybody. All the billions of people could be used on any of them. That's, see, the military doesn't fuck around. They built something. They want the best weapons. They want God power. They want to use it on anybody, everybody. They're not just playing games, okay? When they build something, they want the best. They want to kill people. They're killers.